I'm Mike Montgomery, Product Marketing Manager for Rosemount DP Flow Meters. Installing the Rosemount 485 Anubar assembly is relatively straightforward, but you need to install it correctly to ensure optimum performance. In this training, we'll demonstrate the steps for properly installing both the pack lock and flange flow tap Anubar assemblies. We will begin with a discussion about what tools you might need to get the job done easily and effectively. You'll need an open end wrench or combination wrenches, adjustable wrench, nut driver, Phillips screwdriver, standard screwdrivers, pipe wrench, wire cutters and strippers, box wrench, pipe tape, calipers, tape measure, Allen wrenches, and a torque wrench. You will also need welding and drilling equipment to complete the installation. Now that you know what tools are needed, let's move on to reviewing the inspection process that should be performed when you first receive your Anubar assembly shipment. 485 Anubar averaging pitot tubes are available in varied assemblies and with different options. So it is important to inspect and become familiar with the model you ordered before you attempt to install it. The Anubar assembly is shipped in a wooden crate. Remove the screws securing the lid and open the box. Note the bracing that holds the Anubar assembly safely in place. Ancillary parts, such as nuts, bolts, and gaskets, are also inside the crate, packaged separately. Be sure to put these parts in a safe location, as they will be required during installation. Check your packing list against everything that has been included in the shipment. It is good practice to check off each item as it is reviewed. Every unit comes labeled with a stainless steel tag. This tag specifies the serial number, customer tag number, model number, pipe ID, and pipe wall thickness. It also displays the maximum allowable flow rate and pressure and temperature limits. If it is a flow tap assembly, it will also show the insert retraction flow rate. If the unit was ordered as a flow meter or with a secondary element, the tag also shows the transmitter calibrated span based on the application information given. You should take the time to recheck every item on this tag against the application data. The transmitter does not need to be recalibrated prior to installation unless plant practices require it. However, it should be re-zeroed at line pressure as part of the commissioning process. A manila envelope is also attached to the assembly. It contains the quick installation guide, or QUIG. Be sure to remove and read this document. In addition, a second envelope may be attached containing packing material. Remove the packing and set aside. It will be needed later during installation. Next, look for any special tagging on the assembly. After inspecting the equipment, examine the location where the flow meter will be installed. Correct flow meter orientation and minimum straight run requirements must be met for accurate and repeatable flow measurement. The next chapter covers these important considerations.